heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. opened up and uh, I knew some of my kids were going there and um, I thought it was a good opportunity for me as a coach and as a teacher to make that move. I wanted to start my own program and be the first coach there and see what I could do and you know establish a good volleyball program. And seeing the freshmen that I had, Julie Brown, Haley Kane, Haley Bratzi, and Maddie Lippy. I actually told somebody I believe that uh, this is going to be a state championship team in a couple years. The girls always ask me, um, have you ever had this many seniors? Have you ever had this weird a group? Um, and I tell them no. But this has been the most special bunch that I've had. It's just been a fun journey. I think this group's just got a bunch of good leaders. They've bought into my program and my style. I'm not a yeller, I'm not a screamer. Pretty laid back and I think a lot of these girls needed um, the more calm coaching style for their play. And they just play for me and I, I don't know how I do it. Our goal was to be undefeated in the conference, which they did. This tournament play, was probably the toughest we've had in my four years. You know, we started out with Providence, then we had to go to Audrey Kale, then, you know, so it wasn't easy teams that we had to beat. But the girls handled it real well this year, I thought. Hi, my name is Morgan Fisher. Well, I moved here my sophomore year. All the girls were really welcoming and we've just become a really big family and they've been really great friends to me ever since. I knew from the beginning of the season that we were going to make it to the state finals. Last year during tryouts when Haley Bratzi was celebrating during a game of Queen of the Court and rolled her ankle and ended up being out for a couple of weeks. I know it's not funny that someone got hurt, but if you were there and saw her, it would be pretty funny to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was funny. 
My favorite player on the team would probably be Megan Perry, just because she's fun and she always gives people uplifting words and she just is always making us laugh. Terraria! She drew the Bronco. Oh my god, yes. I think she's really developed as a player too, so it's fun to watch her do good things on the court. My future goals are kind of undecided. I'd like to play volleyball. Um, haven't looked too much into it. I'm still a little undecided, but I'd like to study hospitality management at the University of South Carolina. My name's Jennifer Hart, and I'm a setter. We're all really close, and we even have like team sleepovers when we're not even supposed to. <laughs> My favorite player is Ashley Martell because even though she doesn't play a lot, she always cheers for us and does the best that she can. Our coach is great because she has an awesome personality. She goes with the flow and she works as hard even when we don't want to be worked hard. I'm Jasmine Lindor. I am middle hitter. I've been on varsity for two years. Being on varsity is amazing. The girls are great and I just love the whole experience and vibe. Beginning of the season, I definitely thought we were going to state finals. We wanted it bad last year, but that was nothing compared to what, how much we wanted this year. My role in the team would definitely be just to kill like everybody's bad moods going on, just make them laugh, because I'm so weird and funny, I guess. <laughs> my favorite player on the team would be, of course, my best friend Kayla, just because she's my best friend. And I get to play volleyball with her every day. Skid is a great coach because she pushes you to do things that you didn't think you could do in the beginning of the season. And just like watching yourself evolve from like how you started off to now is am amazing just because of her. My future goals would be definitely to play in college and maybe after coach a little. My name's Haley Kane. I am a senior outside hitter and I've been on varsity for four years now. At the beginning of the season, I did think we'd be going to state finals, but I didn't really believe that it was going to happen until the beginning of the playoffs when we were doing as good as we were. If it's a hard game and people are getting down, I try to be a cheerleader. If it's a game where we should be doing better, I am a motivator and a pusher, but I'm always trying to lift up the teammates. Whenever we're warming up in the middles or outsides are hitting, if someone gets hit in the face, it's going to be Haley Brotzi. My favorite player on the team is Megan Perry. She is so awkward and so funny and She's always there to brighten our moods if we're ever down or just like diffuse tension without even trying. Skid is a great coach because she keeps pushing us, tells us we can do it, and is always there to motivate us. She always just tells me, you know, you got that, don't worry about it, shake it off, you got the next one. And she's right, we do got the next one. I would like to play volleyball in college because I don't really know what I would do without it. And I would like to be an athletic trainer. I'm Julia Brown. I'm a senior. I'm an outside hitter and I've been a part of the team four years. We had one loss along the way to Mount Tabor and I think that uh, that actually ended up helping us because it made us realize that we're not invincible and that we can be beaten and it kind of picked up our effort and practice and everything. Haley and I and Erica are all captains and even though we have the label of a captain, everybody on our team has a capability of being a captain and serving as that role. Haley Brodsey dancing in the locker room before every match, that's something interesting and funny to see. My favorite player on the team is Megan Perry. She's so funny and so awkward, it's awesome. Skid is a great coach because she's putting in all the time that we are and a lot more and playing in Florida for four years, I wouldn't have been able to give the opportunity that I have without her. I'll be attending NC State to play volleyball next fall. That'll be a good opportunity for me to pursue my goals as an athlete and student. I'm Haley Brotzi and I'm number six and my position is defensive specialist. Um, I've been nice, on the Huff volleyball team since I was a freshman. Honestly, I haven't had any doubts about our team because we have just come so far and I have a lot of faith in us. We play much better when we're having a good attitude and I just like to make sure that happens. One time I was diving for a ball and I missed it and Julia was kind of close to me so she dived and she missed it. And then Jazzy's like halfway across the court but she just dives anyway and it was just so funny because she's always diving aimlessly and it's funny when she does it. My favorite player is Megan Perry because she's just awkward in a good way. 
Skid's a good coach because she does everything she can to prepare us. Like today, we are practicing at Davidson College at 7.30, so it's going to be just like States tomorrow. It's up to us now to finish this season. After high school, I would like to go to college and earn a degree and then just do something awesome. Since the beginning of the season, I really thought we were going to make it to the state finals. It was definitely a tough journey to get there, but we worked our butts off this whole entire season. We've all put in the commitment and the hours for it, and we all love each other. We work as a family. In sixth grade, I didn't know I could sing a, a single note, actually, but I tried out for our play, and I started singing opera, and my teacher was blown away that a huge sound could produce out of my little body. And the rockets rock the And I'm only like 5'4", so it's not like, I have this huge opera voice where you see in like operas where these huge fat ladies sing. And we're riding down to Huff's team camp down in Florida. And she had to go to the bathroom really, really bad. And Skid was like, I'm not stopping. And I was like, Bratzi, like, what are you gonna do? And she goes, I gotta pee. And I was like, well, here's a cup. So she pees in a cup and it's like sitting right next to me. And it was probably the most embarrassing thing, but we're all girls. Another one of my favorite players is Natalie Black. She is really good at dancing and she always gets everybody motivated and just kind of funny when we do our locker room warm ups. It's just kind of funny to like watch her dance because she's so good and I can't dance like at all. My dream is to go to either University of South Carolina or go to ECU and become a dentist. Hi, my name is Batty Lippi. Um, I'm a senior. I play libero slash defensive specialist. I've been on the team for four years. At the beginning of the season, I kind of had a feeling that we had a chance at States. It's just surreal that we actually are. I would say my role on the team is probably like the talker on the team. Just always trying to get my teammates like involved and letting them know what's on the court and everything. My favorite player on the team would have to be Megan Perry just because she's so like funny and she's like awkward but she always knows how to make the team laugh. Something that makes Skid a great coach is that she always knows like the right things to say to us. No let up for the server, every ball's up. No more okay. My goals for the future are probably to go to Appalachian State. Um, I'm trying to get into the Honors College there and I want to study English and Political Science.
two points right here. Out of bounds. We'll take that one. We'll take that one. Give it to her, give it to her, give it to her. Let's make it a win. Let's come out strong. Put the balls away, not getting down each other. If one of the teammates is down, pick them up. If let's have the down, best game of our them. lives. Yes, if they're down, pick out them. Let's have the best, best games of our lives. Yes. Yes. We waited four years of our lives to do this. And the fact that we've made it this far is really sweet.
Big time for us. Big time. Hope everybody's ready and uh, focused and ready to get this thing. I'm excited for you. The girls were loose. They were ready to play. I had a good feeling about it and wasn't real nervous. Usually I get real nervous, but they were ready. It just didn't fall our way, but, you know, we were ready for it. So we think about the season and going to the championship, which that's what we wanted to do and we accomplished getting there, but it's not. It wasn't a season just about winning the championship. There's a lot of other things that came with that. I mean, I think a lot of friendships were made, a lot of um, team camaraderie, some lessons, life lessons learned. Ten years from now, you're going to look back and say, you know, we made this trip. Very rarely did teams get to make it that far and accomplish what we accomplished. And that's one of the things that I hope everybody gets out of this. It was a fantastic year. I couldn't ask for a better season. But this group of girls was awesome. Parents were awesome. Megan, I appreciate her being by my side, getting me through the games and taking my stats and telling me things that maybe I was missing. and enjoy it, okay? It's one time, don't leave here with any regrets, okay? Win or lose, give everything you got.
One serious face. Awkward person, why? <laughs> <clears throat> Should have put some chapstick on. <laughs> 